Hey guys. So today is Sunday, November the 13th. And I woke up and I've been having this pain in my side all day. Um, it's about almost five o'clock in the evening. And I did call uh, my doctor's office. And they want me to go to the hospital because my pain is a seven out of 12. I mean, this kind of feels very, very familiar. Um, and I'm just praying that, you know, everything is okay and I don't have to deliver. So I'm just trying to remain calm right now and I'm gonna get ready. And then I'll keep you guys updated on what happens. Okay, I made it to the hospital. I just got checked in and they asked me for a urine sample. Um, I had to change out of my clothes. My husband and my daughter are in the waiting room. I know they're gonna come in here and ask me some questions um, and finish my intake before they'll let him back. So I did bring my iPad with me um, and my laptop for like schoolwork and stuff. Cause I don't know how long I'm gonna be here, but just wanted to give you guys an update and I will get back with you once all of the stuff is done. Okay guys, so I did just see the doctor. Um, she checked my cervix. My cervix is still closed, but she said it is low. She said I could just be having muscle spasms. Um, they're gonna run some labs to make sure that it's none of my organs. Um, she did, you know, like check and make sure like my ribs and everything were fine. It was fine. Um, I did give a urine sample, so they're gonna check and make sure, you know, there's no protein or anything. My blood pressure is still good. So she said if anything, she thinks it's probably just muscle spasms. So once the labs come back, then we will know more. So I'll check back in with you guys once we got more details. Hey guys, so it's almost two o'clock in the morning. I'm still at the hospital at this point. They have admitted me. I'm gonna give you all a quick summary of what's going on. Um, so basically, as I said earlier, I came in because I was having pain on my side. Um, when I originally came, the on call for the doctor that was working at the hospital basically said it could be a muscle spasm or something. She also wanted to do um, some labs just to make sure that um, it wasn't any other things like any of my organs or anything. So we ran some labs. As we were waiting, I did get the results from my ultrasound earlier. Excuse me, from earlier this week. Um, today is Sunday. I had an ultrasound on Tuesday, and basically, my doctor said the baby is five pounds seven ounces, and that there are some cysts on my right ovary, and there's a new one on my left ovary and that we can talk about removing them at the time of my C-section. So immediately when I saw that, I was like, this could explain the pain that I'm feeling. So I talked to the nurse and she let the doctor know. They actually got the same message um, at the time I got it anyway, so the doctor already knew. And so the nurse kind of told me before letting the doctor know, she was just like, if it's assist unfortunately there's nothing that we can do about it until the baby comes because you know unless it's blocking blood flow to my uterus or anything like that there's nothing they can do about it so um the doctor did come in and she said my labs came back everything was fine they did see my liver function, um, whatever blood they took to check for like my liver function, it was elevated and 
extremely elevated and she just wanted to retake it to make sure it was accurate and that there was no um like blood clots or whatever when it was drawn the first time so we redid that she also ordered an ultrasound now when we did the ultrasound because i know what this looked like i did see the cyst and i saw that it was big obviously i don't know I'm not a radiologist, so I can't, like, measure it, but it looked big. Um, they also said that there is a little protein in my urine. So, she um, came back and she said that this is, is 14 centimeters. That explains the pain that I'm feeling. So, she said they wanted to monitor me for at least 24 hours for one the protein in my urine could mean that I'm having preeclampsia again. Um, it wasn't high, but they just want to monitor, monitor it overnight to make sure that it's not elevating. So they're going to check my urine for 24 hours, which started at the last time I peed at that point. So I think that was about 9 o'clock. Um, what else? Um, so that was about the urine. Also, um, the blood work that happened for my liver, she did say that it was slightly elevated. Um, it wasn't too crazy like it was the first time, but it was slightly elevated. And then the third thing was the cyst. So they want to do an MRI to look at it to see like where it's coming from and just to learn a little bit more about it. So, in the morning I have to do an MRI, they're going to be checking my urine and rerunning um, blood test, you know, for the next 24 hours. Um, and then basically my doctor will take over in the morning and we'll go from there. We'll, we'll see her plan at that point. Um, Honestly, today I am 35 weeks and four days. So in just a few days, I'll be 36 weeks, which is full term. And I am way further along than when I was with Leia. Also, Leia weighed only two pounds when I was pregnant with her at the time of giving birth. So I do feel like we're in a much better position. Um, the nurse did say that she see babies born at 35 or 36 weeks that don't even have to go to the NICU to think of home. Um, we weren't ready for her just yet. I was in the process of packing my uh, hospital bag. So I pretty much have um, everything that I need for myself. I haven't put it in the bag yet, but I have it. And then the second thing would be um, I ordered a few things for the baby. Um, and so, like a name announcement, because we haven't shared the name with anybody. Um, I got a little swaddle with her name on it. And so, though the, um, I think the name announcement thing came yesterday. And then the swaddle is been shipped, so it should come within the next few days. Um, so, yeah, hubby is here. He is back there, knocked out. I can't sleep. They did tell me if I can't sleep, they'll give me a pain medicine. So, probably, I mean, I said a pain medicine, a sleeping medicine. The doctor ordered it to help me sleep if I want it. So, I might do that um, pretty soon if I can't sleep. But, yeah, I mean, we weren't just ready for her yet. Um, her bassinet is put together. I'm not done with, like, everything around the house just yet. Um, I still have to wash the bottles. We still have, like, a baby sprinkle we were supposed to do this Friday, which, at this point, I'm going to have to cancel. Um, and then I have to wash all of Leia's um, newborn stuff for the new baby. And so... You know, things don't always go as planned. And I've learned that throughout life. So, 
I just learned to go with the flow, to be flexible and to be able to pivot. Um, should she come, I really would like for her to be able to come home because y'all, when I tell you it was so hard leaving my baby and having my baby in the NICU for seven weeks, it was hard. I don't care if she has to stay here for two days. I really would like for her to come home. Um, again, I didn't get to do my what's in my hospital bag, pack my hospital bag with me, video and all that stuff. So we'll see. As of right now, we don't know what's going on. We don't have the full plan yet. Um, I think the best case scenario for me would be me being put on bed rest and me being able to go home and be on bed rest. Worst case scenario would be me having to deliver um, upon moving to my room and getting settled. I did have to sign consent forms just in case I have to deliver. So the worst case scenario would be me having to deliver within the next few days. I think and another worst case scenario for me would be me having to stay at the hospital until I give birth. Um, so yeah, again, I really won't know until tomorrow when we do all the tests, get the results, and then I talk to my doctor. I did have a doctor's appointment scheduled for this Friday. I'm sorry, my husband, he's like, I'm sure he's super tired. And he is snoring, okay, knocked out. But, you know, I'm not gonna lie. When I first um, spoke with the doctor, she said that I should go to the hospital I was fighting back so many times. I did cry. Only because it just felt so familiar. You know, like last time, I had complications and, you know, that ultimately, that ultimately ended in me having to give birth at 30 weeks. Um, so, I did, I did, I really did. I did, um, I did, I was struggling with that in the beginning, um, after hearing that it was the cyst, I kind of felt a little better, because I at least, you know, knew what the pain was coming from, and that it wasn't the baby, but now that I have to sign those consent forms, that kind of like, that kind of triggered me again, and I don't know, um, you know, praying that we get to go home and wait a few more weeks, at least two weeks until, you know, baby comes, um, but again, we'll see, I know that God makes no mistakes, and that you know, it all works together for the good. So, I did pray. Play my worship music on my way here. I've been trying to stay calm. Um, and not let my blood pressure rise. So, yeah. That's where we are. Right now. And I will know more tomorrow. So, I will keep you guys updated, and I'll let you know. Alrighty, good night.
Thank you.